In this lesson, we'll learn about equivalent fractions. Look at the two length models below. Here in the top model, the whole is divided into two equal parts, and one of those parts is shaded. That means the fraction shown here is one half. Now let's look at the bottom model. The bottom whole is divided into four parts, of which two are shaded. This fraction is two fourths. Now if you look at the two length models, you will see that the total parts in both add up to the same length. Model one shows one part shaded, which is half of the whole, or one out of two pieces. Model two shows two parts shaded, which also means half of the whole, because two out of four pieces is half. And the other way you can see this here is just notice that the amount of space in this length is the same. So the blue area is, is the same amount of space, even though the fractions look different. And this means that these two fractions here are equivalent to one another. They both represent the same amount. And in this model, each part represents one half. But in this model, each part represents one fourth. So what this means is that one half is the same thing as two of one fourth, right? two parts that are one-fourth each, or two-fourths. And this means ultimately one-half equals two-fourths. Now even though the fractions one-half and two-fourths look different because they have different values in the numerator and denominator, they represent the same amount, so we call them equivalent fractions. Let's try a problem together to understand this concept better. Check to see if the fractions one-fourth and three-eighths are equivalent. Use area models. Now what you want to do is take the same whole, which is the same size rectangle, and divide one into four equal parts and divide the other into eight equal parts. And that's what we have here, right? We've got one rectangular piece here that is divided into four equal parts, each part being one-fourth, and we've shaded in just this one-fourth in purple. In the bottom model, you have eight equal parts, and three of these equal parts are shaded in to represent the fraction three-eighths. Now what you want to do is take the top model and show the same fraction, which is one-fourth, but you want to show it with a denominator of eight, which means that we need to take each of these one-fourth sections in the top model and divide it in half to make eight total parts. So if I do that, let's count and just see. I should have eight equal parts, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I have a fraction out of a denominator of eight. And when I do that, I still have the same area colored in that represents one-fourth, but now it's two equal parts. So this is two-eighths. And now we're going to compare this to the fraction three-eighths. Three-eighths and two-eighths are not the same. Three-eighths is greater than two-eighths, right? Because you not only have, this is just one-eighth, one-eighth, right? So you have two of these one-eighth pieces. But down here, these are eighths too. And you have three of these eighth pieces. So you have more area being taken up by three-eighths than two-eighths. So these are not equivalent. Let's try another problem together. Are two-eighths and one-fourth equivalent fractions? We're going to use number lines to help us understand whether or not these are equivalent. So let's start with this top number line here. Notice that in the space between 0 and 1, we've made 8 different divisions, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 8 spaces in between 0 and 1, which means that I can use this top number line to show the first fraction, which is 2 eighths. So if I want to make 2 eighths on this number line, I start at 0 and go through 2 of those 8 divisions, and I land right here on 2 eighths. Now let's take a look at the second number line. In the second number line, the space in between 0 and 1 has been divided into four equal places, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So to show the next fraction on this number line, I want to show 1 fourth. I'm going to highlight just one of these four parts. Now if you notice here, the space taken up on the number line by 2 eighths and by 1 fourth is the same length. It's the same amount of space. What that means is that 2 eighths is equal to 1 fourth. 
Even though these fractions have different numerators and denominators, they are equivalent, or they represent the same amount. And that you can see that pretty clearly here on the number line. Even though the divisions on the top number line are, there are eight divisions, and you're using two of them, and the bottom one has four divisions, and you're using one, it still represents the same amount of space of this number line in between 0 to 1. In this lesson, you've learned how to identify equivalent fractions. Happy solving!